In our previous video, we covered flex direction. In this video, we will cover flex wrap. It's another important flexbox property to help you manage layouts. This property comes into play when your flex items exceed the container's width and don't have enough space to fit on the same line. Flex wrap allows you to control whether your items should wrap onto multiple lines or stay on a single line even if they overflow. Let's go over the utilities of flex wrap one by one and see how they affect the behavior of flex items. First, we have flex wrap. By default, flex items stay on a single line even if they overflow. That is the default behavior of flex. It tries to squeeze all the items inside that flex container in a single line. But when you apply flex wrap, it allows the items to wrap onto multiple lines if there isn't enough space to fit them all in one row. This way, it keeps your layout neat and responsive. Let's look at an example. So here inside the body, I have a flex container. As you can see, I have added the flex class to the container. And then inside that, I have four child elements. And now the size of each element is just 16 units. So that's why it is able to accommodate this because we have the width of 96 for the parent container. So it can accommodate four child elements with the size of this. But let's see what if we increase the size to 32 and save it. You can see that now the width and height are not same for each child element. Because the flex container is trying to squeeze the items so that it fits that container. Now if we add flex wrap. It will no longer squeeze the items and it wraps onto multiple lines since there is not enough space in the single line. Next, we have flex wrap reverse. This behaves like flex wrap but with a twist. Items wrap onto multiple lines in reverse order. Now, in this flex wrap, you can see that the items are starting from top left and when there is no place, it is starting again in the second line. But what happens when you use flex wrap? reverse is instead of starting a new line from the top the wrapping begins from the bottom let's add the flex wrap reverse to see that i'm saving it so as you can see the items are still wrapping but the second row is appearing on top of the first one means the wrapping begins from the bottom not from the top like we saw in flex wrap lastly we have flex no wrap as the name suggests, the utility prevents wrapping. All items will stay on a single line no matter how much space is available, causing them to overflow the container if necessary. Simply, this utility forces all the items to stay on a single line even if they overflow. Let's add flex no wrap to this and save it. As you can see now the flex items are not wrapping. This is the default behavior so even if you remove it it still looks the same but uh, one use case of this is that maybe you want to uh, wrap it only on hover so by default you have flex no wrap but on hover you can have like flex wrap. Now if I hover on the container then you can see that it is wrapping and if I don't hover it's not wrapping. You can do the opposite as well. By default you can wrap it and on hover you can add no wrap. So by default it looks like this and when you hover you can see that it is wrapping. These utilities are crucial when creating responsive designs as they allow your layout to adapt when space is limited. In the next video we will explore a simple but frequently used utility called gap. See you there.